The actual Hills District is a very small suburb. However, we expand the training zone in a 20 to 30 kilometre radius to include pretty cool facilities like the University of Queensland track, uh, Mount Nebo, Mount Glorious, uh, Sanford, Debra, and also like Inogra Dam. I want to just explain why I chose um, Cam Watt and the Hills District squad for my um, training uh, into sort of towards the end of 2015. Um, so after a few results in 2015 where I was sort of getting fourth places and things and I was still working, I decided that I, it was probably time for me to, to look for something more. And um, yeah, so I went through the process of reviewing a few different coaches and um, at the time, Cam had just been finishing up with a cycling team, a continental cycling team, so he was one of the people on the list. And um, I'd always remain in contact with Cam through the period of time when I was working and because um, I'd trained with him a little bit when I was racing ITU. And it just worked out sort of almost perfectly that he was looking at um, returning to coaching triathlon um, and returning to triathlon. So we had a meeting and... I guess the, the key things were ticked for me, which were um, I was looking for a, a squad environment because I knew that the, a sort of a, a squad environment commands quite high performance. Um, I was looking for uh, an individualised coaching program. I didn't want to um, I didn't want to be given a, a coaching plan that I had to just follow each week and provide feedback online or something like this. So a, a group that was like home based in Brisbane near me um, that's high performance focused um, and yeah I guess something something a little bit extra and I think I think with some of the experience that um, Cam has with some of the athletes he's trained with in the past. There was a little bit of possible, well, I call it a little bit of magic there, where um, you know he just offered that little bit more, a bit more experience in knowing what the level is to be and where we need to get to. And um, yeah, that kind of I sort of went away and thought about it for a bit. And yeah, at the start of sixteen, we we started um, training together. And at the time, the squad was just me, myself, and I. Um, <laughs> and then um, you'll see sort of. You'll see from some of the footage the squad's grown like considerably now. My name is 
Els Visser. I'm a long course triathlete from the Netherlands. The Hills District means a lot for me and it's the way of training that makes it so special. It's very consistent training day in and day out and we are with a group of high level athletes and we all work very very hard to achieve our goals and then of course our coach Cameron. It's a great opportunity to train with him and he has a crucial role in our group. So this is why the Hills District is exactly the place where I can improve and get the best out of myself. Hi, my name is Holly Grice. I'm 25 from Redcliffe, training here at the Hills District. Uh, I'm new to the 70.3 racing. Um, I love training here in the Hills District. We have great hills and mountains. Uh, hey, I'm Max Newman and uh, I've lived in the Hills District area for my whole life. I couldn't think of a, a better place to, to train. So you got the world's best facilities here and um, to have one of the world's best coaches locally is a bonus, so yeah. Hi, my name is Trent Thorpe and uh, I race ITU and I'm from New Zealand. Um, I chose the Hills District because I really like the terrain, I like the group and also my girlfriend's part of the group as well so that makes it a little bit easier. Hi, my name is Jan, I come from Switzerland and I'm doing ITU races. Uh, I'm here to train with the Hill District because it gives me an opportunity to train with some of the best athletes in the world in a perfect environment during the cold winter in Europe. Hello, I'm Remy Wilsoncroft. Um, I'm from the Sunshine Coast, Australia. Um, I chose the Hills District because I love the culture here in our little squad and I love um, what we do and Cam's an awesome coach. <laughs> I come from the, the culture of our squad uh, is quite different to uh, an age group squad because uh, I only coach professionals here on, on deck and so uh, triathlon being a, an individual sport um, it's at times it's very hard to uh, force a team culture but uh, our culture is based really around not getting in each other's road Everyone has their own goals and some of the people within the squad are uh, direct competitors of each other. And so I just set the guidelines in our group that we don't get in each other's road. And I think a byproduct of just having good, decent human beings within that squad, uh, so long as we stick to not getting in each other's road, I find that uh, just naturally they start supporting each other and they do actually uh, have kind of a bit of a team culture in that... Uh, they're helping each other out. Triathlon is uh, such a unique sport and that uh, everyone that does it can find a place that uh, matches what they want to get out of the sport. Not everyone wants to win the Olympics in triathlon, not everyone wants to win the Hawaiian Ironman in triathlon, but uh, some people do and if uh, and I actually have people within my squad that that is their goal, but others uh, just want to uh, reach their what I call their genetic potential, the best that they possibly can because everyone in triathlon has a different entry point. Some people were ex-Olympic swimmers, uh, some people were ex-professional cyclists uh, and some people uh, <laughs> learned to swim when they were 30. And so uh, the beauty of our sport is that there's, there's that many races, there's, it's a global sport, there's that many distances, there's hilly races, there's flat races and uh, I just, I just find it a great challenge of matching up uh, the individual and, and kind of road mapping their, their goal to reaching what they actually want out of triathlon and not what uh, the, the most trodden path is. It's very different to when we first started now. I mean, I've had to actually take that on board with the way I've approached my training as well. Um, and so, yeah, I mean, it's great though because we have all different levels within the group and different people inspire you for different reasons. So you have people that are maybe, uh, they all have different stories. People travel to come here. People have to work so hard just to get a result. Uh, and that is inspiring in itself because they get in every day and they do such hard work just to get, a, a, you know, their best out of themselves. And then other people... I've got people that have lost heaps of weight that are in the squad and that's motivating too because they're, this is a, a dream to them to be able to train in our group. Um, and then there's obviously the high-performing athletes and they've got some guys that have got big dreams in our group. Um, and it's just great to be able to share in those experiences with them as they try and go on their journey. 
obviously then there's the other side of it is we're not a team per se because everyone has their own individual goals but at least we bring it all together for swim in the mornings and everyone still supports each each other regardless of whether we're going at it in the pool or or whatever but um yeah that's obviously something that's changed for me because before it was just me so yeah No, it's okay. I'm just gonna finish eating this lolly. Yeah. It's okay, one more. All right, at least they're addictive. <sighs> Sugar. Mm. I'm just eating lollies. So you can probably get this in it anyway. I'm just eating lollies. Um, yeah. Tip, always wear sunglasses <laughs> when you're doing interviews <laughs> because no one can see where your eyes are. I'm actually not looking at you right now. <laughs> see? Thank <laughs> you.